Hello YouTube, my name is Andre and I have a new tutorial. I am at work in a hotel and I teach some young people some presentation techniques and right now I have some free time and want to show you my travel setup. As you can see it consists of two pieces. It's my beloved OP1 together with an organelle and they are both connected. Audio wise the OP1 goes into the stereo input of the organelle for further audio processing and um, they are connected via USB. The organelle user, um, can serve as a USB host so you can connect and sync these devices together with a simple MIDI cable. It's pretty powerful and now they're in sync. The organelle Output goes right into the camera and I have my headphones connected to the headphone out of the organelle and a little microphone connected to the OP1. So I can turn it on and off by the microphone button. And you can connect these devices in a totally different way. It's just my um, approach of connecting these. I use a very, very powerful patch on the organelle. It's called OREC and it's something like a modular system built right into this beautiful blue device. And I just give you a brief, a very brief overview about this system. There's plenty of information on the internet, so if you search for OREC you will find um, very beautiful videos. So Auric is the name and it is like a modular system. You can have as much as 10 slots in a row and you can put in whatever you want. There are a lot of um, things that you can put into this Auric system. For example, a sequencer, a sound source, maybe a sampler or a synth and then you have FX slots, FX, and they can be interchanged e with each other and you, you can do it as uh, how you want to. And that's the power of the system. So one option is to use um, a big row of effects and sound generators. Um, you can have at least 10 patches running at the same time. What I want to do right now is another method. I want to show you two by four plus two. So that means you have two separate patches, sort of. You also have four slots per per patch and you can have different settings for each. So our first slot can serve as a FX unit for the incoming OP1 signal. So you have the OP1 signal here and then you can have four FX slots. For example, uh, whatever, a phaser, a freezer, a delay and a reverb. And then you can modulate um, the incoming sound source. And here you have another piece. You have another slot of four um, sound generators, maybe a sequencer, a synth and then some um, delay and some reverb. It depends. It really depends on what you want to do and how you want to create it. And um, this is the, the basic setup. Um, as I said, maybe you need to, to Google OREC and if you don't already have an organelle lying around, maybe you should um, check it out. It takes some time to understand it. I didn't fully understand it of course because it's so powerful and you can do so many things with it but basically I want to show you how I set this up and um, how I do it. So the first thing you need to do on um, as far as connecting these things together as I mentioned earlier you have to set up the the device on the on the organelle. You do this by pushing the encoder and then setting up the last slot. It's already um, set. Here's the clock input and you can see that it, it's tempo synced to the to the OP1. If you have link and beat match selected here, they're perfectly synced together. 
and then I go to the last slot in the system and there you can have these slots. I have 1 times 10 and now I want to select um, 2 times 4. As I mentioned earlier, then I have two separate effects change. One here and one there, one for the OP1 and one maybe for another um, signal. So I select it, I'll be back in just a second with my audio. Push the encoder and now I can select the appropriate one. Where is it? Two times four plus two. And then you have to adjust the in input gain again that I that you can hear me and then you can hear the OP1 source. So this is how it sounds, the OP1. It just very basic patch goes through the um the originelle stereo input and now you can mingle and mangle um, this and I show you how. So you select the first slot by pushing the encoder, first button, pushing again and then you can select um, between sequencers, sound sources, samplers and um, effects. And I just want to show you some effects. They're um, pretty cool, pretty f powerful, maybe starting with a with uh, distortion, and here's some distortion. Hey, yeah. Now my voice is also distorted because it goes through the OP1, and then uh, a freezer, a freezer, a freezer. I love this freeze. It's granular. It goes to in a, in a granular direction. Where is it? Freezer. Hey, two. Check, check. You can have some adjustments on the size, density, density, and you can even freeze it. Free, and now it's frozen. And you can have a, a bed, a, um, a starting point for a song or so, and you can unfroze it, freeze it, for example. And then some delay. Where is the delay? Go to the next slot, selecting it, select an effect. And I want a delay. A delay. There we go. Hey, two. There's the delay. Yeah, a little more feedback. And some reverb on the fourth. On the fourth. That's a pretty nice reverb.
think you get the idea. It's just the start. And you can do so many cool things with this. And maybe that's a start to to start your own patch. It really it's it's free. Auric is free and it's it's by a pretty cool developer called Technobeer and um you can download it for free on patch storage and I put some descriptions in the in the some links in the description and wow it's it's amazing. You can do so many so much cool stuff with it and I just want to show you that. Thanks for watching. That was my little mobile setup and now I dive deep into the Oryx system together with my lovely OP1.